A single microorganism is in a culture. After one minute, the microorganism splits into two. One minute later, each of those microorganisms split into two, and so on and so forth. The rate of change of the microorganisms in the culture at any time t is directly proportional to the number of microorganisms. How many microorganisms will be in the culture after 20 minutes? There's one line in here that is extremely important, and that is this one, that the rate of change of the microorganisms is directly proportional to the number of microorganisms. Whenever you see this, your first thought should be exponential growth and decay. Now, because we have exponential growth and decay, we can bypass our entire differential equation because we've already figured out what general solution lies to dy dt equals k times y. And we know that this is y equals y naught e to the kt, where y naught is the initial function value and k is our constant of growth. So in order to figure out how many microorganisms will be in the culture after 20 minutes, we know that t is going to be 20, k we need to figure out, and why not we also have to figure out. And if we can do all of that, we can solve this problem. So we need k and we need y naught. Well, first of all, we know what y naught is because a single microorganism is initially in the culture. That means that y naught is equal to 1. All right, let's plug that in. So that means that we have y is equal to 1 e to the kt. Now I need to solve for k and the way that we can do that is by finding another function value at any time. Well we know that after one minute the microorganism splits into two. So when t is equal to one y is equal to two. There are two microorganisms at the time when t is equal to 1, one minute has gone by. So, let's plug that in. We know that 2 is equal to e to the, let's plug 1 into t, and uh, k times 1 is just k. Now we can solve for k by taking the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of e to the k, which means the natural log of 2 is equal to k, because we can pull the k in front of the natural log of e, and the natural log of e is just 1. So hey, look, we've got our constant of growth. It's the natural log of 2. That's pretty cool. So let's plug that in. We've got y is equal to our initial function value. y naught is 1 e to the t times the natural log of 2. And at this point, we can now plug in our value of t 20 minutes. And we'll solve for y. So here we have y is equal to e to the 20 times the natural log of 2. And if you do this on a calculator, you'll get y is equal to 1, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6, which is 1,048,576 microorganisms. And that right there is how many microorganisms there are after 20 minutes.